Okay, good afternoon everybody, and what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about snake bites on both humans and in dogs. I was out at the vet's office and I was talking with the veterinarian, and we were talking about snake bites. We got on that topic. He was telling me that there's a lot of things that people don't realize that you don't need to do or they're not sure how to handle it after a pet like a dog has been bitten or even a human being and I go well what are the things that uh, they're doing wrong and we just had this conversation he finally pointed at a plaque on the wall I went ahead and photographed it because I thought I'm going to share this with everybody because I thought it was interesting information now I live in California in Southern California and I live out in the desert cities and we have a lot of mountains, a lot of desert around us, and therefore we have a lot of snakes. And we have three common ones in particular. So your area might be different, but a lot of the same things apply. So I'm going to change a picture, and we'll go down the 10 recommendations that they have out at the vet's office for if you ever run into a situation where a dog, cat, or somebody in your family gets bitten by a snake. Okay, so we'll go down the list and I'll move my head out of the way when we get towards the bottom. But the first thing is don't panic. There's typically plenty of time to get to a hospital or to the veterinarian. Adults and medium-sized dogs will usually have plenty of time or enough time to get treatment started. However, if it's children or small dogs, then your time's limited and you want to try to get there much quicker. Number two, do not try to capture or kill the snake for identification. In California, the anti-venom is available and it covers all rattlesnake bites. Immediately, number three, immediately remove any jewelry from around the site of the bite. Snake bites are often a result of severe swelling and these items will cut off blood flow, increasing the probability of losing a finger or a limb. Number four, do not use tourniquets, ice, cutting, or any other commonly marketed snake bite kits. These actions will make things much worse for you and your pet. Dialing 911 is the only thing you should do for a bite to a human. 5. Anti-venom is the only treatment that works. Even if your pet has received rattlesnake vaccination, they still must have emergency treatment. Number 6. Do not attempt to drive yourself. There's a high risk of passing out due to drop in blood pressure. 7. Remain still while waiting for the ambulance. If your dog has been bitten, you can carry him to the car, hopefully, and that's the best thing. Don't let him, you know, run around or anything like that. Try to keep him calm and get him to the vet as soon as you can. 8. Keep the bite site at the heart level if possible. However, the majority of bites that dogs receive are on the face while investigating the snake. This type of bite will adversely affect the dog's ability to breathe. So the immediate administration of Benadryl and a professional medical attention are needed. Number nine, Benadryl will help reduce the inflammation and help reduce the risk of allergic reaction. The recommended dosage for dogs is one milligram per pound. Consult with your veterinarian. They have plenty of Benadryl on hand, so don't be afraid to rush them to the vet. Number 10, Limit liquid intake because the body pumps fluids to the bite site, increasing painful swelling. If available, chew on ice to relieve your thirst. Avoid alcohol. It increases metabolism and thins your blood, as does the venom. So those are the 10 things that people uh, sometimes don't know that the vet feels that people should be made aware of. Now in Southern California, like I said, I live out in desert cities. There are three common types of snakes. And he seems to see, you know, several animals come in, you know, with snake bites. So I just want to show them to you and you can get an idea of what those three common snakes are. Okay, the first one up is the Southern Pacific Rattler. And I'll leave it up here for a few seconds so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. And then we'll move to the next one. Okay, the next one is a red diamondback rattler. And this is what he looks like. I'll leave it up here for a few seconds so you can get a good idea of what they look like, and then we'll move to the last one. Okay, the last one of the three, this is the Moavi Rattler. And this one I've seen around myself several times. I mean, when it gets hot out, come out onto the roadways, I mean, you can see them frequently. Um, but again, these are the three rattlesnakes mainly that the veterinarian here locally says when they get bitten by a snake, it's usually one of these three. Same thing with human beings and the emergency rooms, at least here where I'm at, the hospitals, I mean, they have the antivenom available. 
Anyway, this was just a quick tip kind of a video just to give you some tips on rattlesnake bites. I hope you found it interesting and I kept it short and I got right to the point. So I hope you click subscribe, keep following me. You folks have a good day and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.